So I once had a pink G wagon and I swore that I would never get another pink car again, much less a flash car. Because I don't really like to stand out that much when I don't want the attention. However, this car is pretty cool. It's been bringing me lots of joy. And as Marie Kondo says, if it doesn't bring you joy, then you don't need it in your life. Well, this is my new 2020 pink Holonen from Rolls-Royce. And as I'm filming this, end of June 2020, this is the only pink manufactured from Rolls-Royce Colonnen SUV. Am I saying that right? That's been out there. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour of this maybe. Okay, so this is it from the side. It looks very like a phantom kind of and the back seat looks like a phantom as well. Um, but it is the SUV and it has some really cool features. This is obviously the front which I just showed you. And yeah, it's got the nice grill, little rolls. This is almost like a pearlized pink. It's really, really cute. And of course it has the doors that open like so, so they're kind of backwards. It's kind of a classic in Rolls's. I'm just gonna shoot another exterior shot. Okay, so let's get in to the interior crack of dawn. Crocodile alligator, okay. So this is the back seat, which actually seems to have the most room. Um, oh, the doors can be quite heavy to close. So there is a door button right here and it closes the door for you since it is kind of heavy and you don't want to have it slam on you. So this is the screen and the dashboard. For people back here, they can control everything. If you want to listen to your own thing, there's headphone cords back there. Um, yeah, and so this is just like a screen and you can play anything you want on here from your phone. So if you don't want to listen to what the car is listening to, just go ahead and plug your earphones in and get your own separate one. So each side has kind of their own thing going on. And you just kind of hold that down to get this all up. Same thing over here. You have the exact same sort of layout. You can control it back here, whatever. Everyone gets their own little personal device. Okay, so that goes up. So I've been back here. We have these really nice, um, they're almost like, kind of like wooly. Like honestly, like you should take your shoes off before even coming in here <laughs> because they're so fluffy and nice. So you definitely have to get them washed by like a luxury. But yeah, you have more air here. You have the newer USB charger there. So there's plenty of chargers. There's one right there, headphones, one right there here. So back here, you are getting a, a lot more leg room. So if you ever have people who fight on over who's gonna sit in the front, trust me, they're all gonna wanna fight over sitting in the back. The back also has the pink rolls as is the front. Excuse my lip, I just got lip injections. Nothing is wrong with me. Some TikTokers pointed out. Um, but yeah, we also have a sunroof action up there which is currently closed, but I can open it up. And yeah, this is the box seat of the Colonnade. <laughs> so let's go in to my position, which is the driver's seat. So once again, the door can be very heavy, so there's two little door buttons right underneath here, and it, it controls the passengers and the drivers, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut my door, because it's pretty heavy. And so, yeah, let's get looking in the interior. I'm kind of far, far up right now because I like to sit high and close to my wheel. But we have the passenger side. It has all their own controls over here. Now what's really cool about this car, let's get myself back because what's really cool about the car, it's very like old fashioned looking inside which I think is really, really cool about Rolls Royce is they're very classic cars. They look like something that could have been driven during the Gatsby era, Titanic era, <laughs> all of the above. So let me just show you. Okay, so this is the commander's wheel. Obviously the wheel has the classic RR, which is very, very cool. Um, but yeah, you can control the volume, your phone, everything from here. As you can see, it's all very like old school. Even the microphone's very old school. Um, I haven't figured out all the tools, bells and whistles yet, but uh, yeah, this controls my, the trunk. Obviously I can open and shut this for my passengers. This is also very cool. Ignore my Burger King, yes, I can't go through a drive through with this car, but that's totally fine. Um, just like very, very simple, but I, I guess again, I like the way it's kind of old school. Even this like lever thing right here for the drive um, is very old school. It has 59 miles currently on this, but yeah, I like the wood interior. I love the white seats. Obviously the pink RR was another huge selling point, but yeah, it does do Bluetooth and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my seat a little forward so I can start um, start the car. So you do need the key to start it, and it gets you in nicely. 
so yeah it does have the bluetooth and everything like that what's really cool about this car and i know this might seem like so silly to some people but i love the charger of this phone so it'll actually charge right there so you can there is like usb you can plug into but if you just want to charge your phone it's an automatic charger so you just put it right there and it starts charging your phone which i think is very very cool so yeah, that's my Rolls Royce. It's my very first Rolls Royce that I've owned. Um, it's definitely a luxury car. The base is actually bigger than a long wheel Range Rover autobiography, so it's a very long car. But it drives really nice and it balances itself out more. I did drive the autobiography because I always had my heart set on those kind of cars, but one, it didn't come in pink. And once I drove this, it just felt so much smoother. It feels like I'm flying. It feels like I'm on a plane. Like obviously the passengers back there can feel like they're in first class. It's a really, really comfort car. Now I gotta give a disclaimer because I have been someone who's always gets new cars. I always am trading in cars. Like it seems like every year I'm getting a new car. I've lost so much money in car purchases. So just know cars are not investments. Cars will lose its value the minute you drive off the lot. Cars, the more expensive the car, the more expensive the maintenance. So keep that into consideration. Oil change on my Lamborghini is more than an oil change on the Porsche Macan that I had. Also know your car is not who you are. It doesn't define you. Like you have to really, really love and enjoy something. I never really just bought into cars just because people liked them, but I saw this car. It made my heart so happy. Um, I don't know. I feel happy. I can just go out and drive and that's like my entertainment. So, um, but yeah, if you drive just like a regular car, don't let anyone make you feel bad. I just had a Porsche Macan down from a Lamborghini and a G-Wagon and so many people gave me so much shit for it. And like, honestly, it didn't make me happy. I didn't love the car, but if it did, like, fuck it, who cares what people say? So I don't know. Do what makes you happy. And if you work hard, you can play hard. And yeah, I don't know. This just kind of makes me happy, but just know it's not like the smartest purchase. Like if you don't definitely don't go above your means to get it. Um, yeah and um yeah anyways that's it i just i just want to show it off because i do like watching some of these car tours um i've seen another guy review a lot of like nice cars so i thought maybe if anyone was like considering it or just wanted to see what's inside i would go ahead and do that for you guys it's really really nice it's very comfortable and very big and cushy and spacious but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this car tour and i will see you in my next video bye